wanted to say hello. 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 Hey everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to my channel, Cherish Daily Tarot. I'm going to do a weekend steamer. Uh, this is going to be for... <laughs> Um, let's start with the 11. It's a timeless message, but I like to put a timestamp on things. Um, so December 11th, 12th, and 13th. Um, yeah, so it's a timeless message. I like to say that because, um, sometimes things don't resonate at all. And if it doesn't, don't worry about it. It's just not your message. Um, try another tarot reader for that week and, um, see if it lines up. Um, but sometimes it's like slow coming. So the way energy works, we, we have come up with the, the construct of time. So, um, that's why I do it. That's why I put a time on it and, um, we get to look forward to the, to the energy that's coming in. And as I have seen, um, from, you know, comments and whatnot, they're very much resonating with a lot of people. So, um, I wanted to get get that out of the way. Um, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so. Thank you for all those um, who have subscribed and who um, watch faithfully. Thank you. Um, it gives me encouragement to keep doing what I'm doing and um, knowing that it's helping someone. Uh, if you have not uh, subscribed, subscribe. If you um, have not found me on the other uh, platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, uh, find me there. I'm Cherish Daily Tarot and on, um, Instagram, I'm Cherish Daily Tarot and Cherish Daily 1111. If you would like to reach out to me for, to book a personal reading, uh, you can find me over on Facebook. You can see my schedule and, um, my list of services, but you can also shoot me an email at cherishdaily at outlook.com. Um, visit my, uh, my website frequently. I post, um, promos on, on my website and I try to do that on a regular basis. Um, but they, sometimes they are, you know, they aren't every month, but no, they have been every month. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta catch them. Um, but there's one on there now, uh, for the Sagittarius season, check it out. Uh, that's www.cherishdailytarot.com. Dot com. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I guess that's it. If I think of anything else that I want to say, I'll put it at the end of the video. Um, but let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for the, uh, for this, for this weekend. The sweet tea for the week was, <laughs> it was good. I've been looking forward to this, uh, weekend steamer because I just want to see how it's continuing on. Yeah. So let's call in our team. Angels of love and light. Spirit of the most high. Our higher selves. Our ancestors. Our love team. What do you have for anyone who wants to come in? This is for all signs. Who wants to come in see what we have for the weekend. Maybe show us some things in love. That has been a theme. Uh, sh career. Uh, personal pursuits, endeavors, businesses. What do you want us to see for the weekend? All right. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's see what pops out. All right. <gasps> nice <laughs> the first energy out is the sun optimism happiness you won it's great everything's beautiful the sun is shining on you when i see this i see the most high the most high um happy <laughs> proud and um giving you a great victory optimism things are looking up you're getting energy, energized. Look at this card. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at the energy coming from the center of this sun. Going right onto her. And it's like 
praise, admiration. Yeah, I like this. She's been lifted, elevated, um, taken up, you know, and that's that's our that's our mission here. If it seems like things aren't going so great, just remember you're just in the middle <laughs> or you're just at the beginning. It's a journey. Okay? Determination. So keep so I think what I'm saying about if you feel like you're, you know, maybe a little bit discouraged, keep going. This is the nine of wands in the challenge position. The nine of wands is, <clears throat> is determination. You want to keep going and that's the challenge. You might not see that the sun is shining on you because you've had a lot of things going on in the past, a lot of things. Um, the wounded warrior, you know, the wounded healer, you're there for everyone and um, you make things look easy. However, you know, you're not always appreciated, but you press on that kind of thing. So there's a the indication that that might be, you know, what you're going to be facing for the weekend. Press on. Exactly. Because you're you're not really interested in entertaining things that do not fulfill your um, intellectual needs. <laughs> this is the Six of Swords, moving away from drama, not being a part of any kind of foolishness. And that's kind of the way that you operate. You'd much rather be uh, casting out on your own uh, rather to find the truth rather than stay in a situation where you know that there is not truth there. Yep. <laughs> because you put your big draws on. <laughs> in the recent past, you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is legal. There's nothing that's going to get past the King of Swords because the King of Swords see you coming. And um, there's an indication here that you did. You, you peep game and you didn't have any qualms about cutting it off, letting it go, putting the sword to, you know, eh, yeah. And so, and you came out victorious, that's why. So this little combination right here with the sun and the nine of, nine of wands, it's because you, you enacted this energy of the king of swords. King of swords, that's a masculine energy can go for a, a male or a female. So yeah, yeah, there's more, co there's competition. There's been some kind of competition, something that has, you know, maybe shaken up your world a little bit. And so um, what I'm saying about this combination here, the sun and the nine of wands, it's, it's just some sort of indication that you went into battle. It may have been a battle of wits but you came out on top, but you didn't come out unscathed simply because you, you're, the, you're the warrior who goes in and is um, also a teacher. Uh, but there's also the indication here that you may have had your ego wounded and that's something that you have to get past. You know, maybe you can't see the sun shining because it's just like your confidence needs a little bit of boosting, especially if you had to get into this King of Swords mode, you know, where you had to, you know, tell it like it is and not in so many kind words. You know, you may have had a mouth battle with a couple of people or just had to stand your ground on something. But either way, you're, um, you came out more than great because you have the Sun card. Now, what you're thinking about is holding the fort, staying strong. The seven of wands is an indication that there's some sort of a competition, but um, so this is something that I've said before. The six of wands is the victory card. So you went out, you know, like using battle strategies, you went out, you won a battle, you came back victorious, you had, you know, the, 
uh, entourage, people are, you know, looking at you and you're looking really good and, and people are patting you on the back and saying, good job, you did great, yay. But then there are others who are there who's like, yeah, so what? No big deal, eh, right? But then there are others that are there that are false friendly, that aren't really there. You know, they're saying, oh, okay, good, great, great. And they're ready to party with you, but they're not ready to put it in work in. So the seven of wands is like the aftermath, after the party. And what's going on is you're, you're just, you're having to defend yourself. You're having to, you know, answer for, like, let's just say somebody says, so how did you really win? I mean, that was a tough thing that you did. And you're like, well, I prepared for it. I just, you know, put the work in. And um, that's just how it is. I'm I'm good. I, I feel great. I, I, I'm a better person because of it. And they're like, nah, there's more to it. You had some help. It couldn't just be what you're saying. But you're having to stand your ground like, yeah, it's just like that. <sighs> I love this. Okay. So you have a major arcana. The second major arcana that came in. This is the energy that's coming in, the lovers. And the lovers can indicate that there's um, duality, but there's union in the duality. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to say soulmate energy because I don't see it yet. But every time I see the lovers card, it's almost like the twin flame situation about to come. But it's beautiful coming in in this energy because it's this is such a hard energy it's so um cold and calculating it has to be um in order to like if you were a lawyer or a judge you have to go by the book you can't put your feelings in you know you have to you know say okay is it this way or is it that way but this softens it a little bit because you did that, because you stood your ground and you made things, you know, um, you did things the right way, you're being rewarded with this, this, um, this balancing. <laughs> because it, it can be love or it can just be you in your own self being uh, reconciled. You know, you're masculine and feminine energies have been balanced because you did this work that has put you in a in a place of comfort and security you love yourself <laughs> you love where you are you love the the um the journey you know there's there's just a reconciliation of the two parts of yourself. And that's how I see it because <clears throat> although it is the lover's card, it doesn't always have to indicate romance. It can just be that it's um like I'm saying, a reconciliation of the two the two the dualities in in ourselves. Um let me see this is It's a law, you know, uh, law of genders. That's, that's what I'm trying to think of. I was going in another direction in my head, but yeah, it's a universal law. You ha we have both um, masculine and feminine. It's present in all of the, in all of nature. Um, and so, yeah, we have to stay balanced. Now this is interesting because <clears throat> I said competition a minute ago, and now in your, your energy that's influencing this is competition. The five of wands is like a spar. You're having to go among your, your, your inner circle, your close people, and work some things out. Work some things out, and it could indicate that there's somebody that is competing with you. Somebody is seeing your fire and want to emulate that fire and giving you a run for your money. Now that fits <laughs> because 
you have the seven of wands, the nine of wands, this king of swords, six of swords. So whatever's going on and there's, I think you know about it. I think you, yeah, I think you know about it. Look on the bottom, 10 of wands, uh, 10 of cups, happy family, happy. So this could be a, a kind of like a love situation. I hope that the three of cups don't come out because that would indicate some kind of a love triangle. You don't want that in your life. You don't need that in your life. So let's see what's in your environment. Let's see what's in the environment that's influencing this. Yeah, the five of the five of wands is is necessary. It's a necessary energy if you're really trying to do something with your life. You know, if you're just content with um, getting what you're given, then you know it, it's okay. Run away from run away from um, whatever. But if you're if you're ready to get sharp, if you want to. Um, get better, go to the next level, elevate like this sun card, which obviously you're in this reading. So this reading is for you. You want to elevate, you want to go to the next level. So you need to go to this bar. <laughs> you need to hash it out. You need to have the, and it doesn't have to be a shouting match. This is like, um, like, like on the playground, you know, having a competition on the on the playground it's not the bat it's not the war it's the battle um or the spar it's not even a battle right because you're not trying to hurt anybody and nobody's trying to hurt you it's just a different um maybe differences of opinions um just whatever it is take it as this is making me better this is making me sharper stronger more agile <sighs> All right, now here's some more fire. In your environment, you have the Queen of Wands. Now this could be you, somebody seeing you in this way, or somebody in your environment could be this, this energy, this queen. The Queen of Wands, she's an entrepreneur. She, um, she has a style about her that is very, very unique and that she's magical. There's this is the Aries card. Aries is the first house, the house of self, the ego, building up this persona, the person that um, creates things, you know, the action, uh, creation. That's the word that just keeps coming to my mind. You know, it's like she is magical. She, so, so, um, this is compatible. It's not a true match with the uh, King of King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. It's compatible because air energy and fire energy are compatible energies. But it could be like a karmic situation, a, a, you know, instead of like a soulmate situation. Um, and I and I say that because the lovers have come out, and it makes sense in that. Let's say that this is you, right? Let's say that the Queen of Wands is you. Somebody sees you this way. Well, you have a competition on your hands. Somebody is competing with your energy, competing with what you have going on. And um, if this King of Swords, <laughs> if this King of Swords energy is, you know, the other other person or the person that is uh, competing with you I don't think that I don't see it that way I see that this is your match and this person came in and now you're compete somebody's you know seeing you as competition because this King of Swords, if this King of Swords is somebody else, let's say it's your counterpart, your other person. This person 
cut out whatever was going on and that has caused this competition. That sounds like a far stretch, but I don't know. It, it, it just looks that way. Oh, yeah. And what you don't want is to get tied up in your own mind with some fears of, uh, is this right? Is something going on? Is something happening that I don't know about? This is the Eight of Swords. This is like some, this is fears, but they're fears that you've put yourself in. Um, or, you know, it's like overthinking, not having all the facts. And so you're, you're dramatizing everything and making <laughs> the queen of, queen of um, pentacles on the bottom. Ooh, and the king of pentacles. Now look at that. Ooh, and then the emperor. Hey, wowzers. <laughs> well, all right, let's keep going. Um, so it's not that you're there now. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there because you're the queen. You're the queen of wands or the king of swords. And these are two powerful people. Two powerful people that don't need either one. You know, you're you're good where you are. Because this is the lawyer. She's the businesswoman. You know, like successful. She can manifest whatever she wants to manifest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in that outcome... You're going to just walk away from anything that does not fulfill you, that is not emotionally fulfilling because you don't have time for it. You're just too busy for it. You see, with all this fire, you don't have time to play around, play any games, no heart games. It's just, I'd much rather, you know, go out into the wilderness and be a hermit and find my own fulfillment. And that's kind of the way that you're going to leave it. Yeah. Death and rebirth. It's a, it's the end of a cycle. You're going to dead any kind of competition. And it's like, okay, let me go ahead and get on the court and, and show these people out. You know, it's like that. That kind of energy is, it's like being Michael Jordan, having somebody in, a, in high school, a high school basketball player trying to compete. You know, you're like, okay, let me just, let me just knock this out real quick. <laughs> All right, let's put out some Oracle cards to see what we got here. Let's see what comes out. Because um, it, it seems like a love story, but it feels, feels like there's a lot of heat that is trying to warm up a cold situation. This uh, King of Swords, that's cold. It's, um, it's not warm at all. You know, it's like the cold air, a cold person, cold heart, you know, and there's benefits to that. You know, to be logical, it's, we must, we must be logical and back to the lovers. Now back to what I said about the lovers being a duality, you know, to the two, <laughs> say it, Rita, the two, um, energies that are within you logic passion now i guess the other side could be emotion or you know uh but this is this is it the passion the fire you're having uh, those two things balanced with within you so that's beautiful i love that i don't see the um temperance card coming out so it doesn't seem like you're overindulging in anything it's just um outside stuff outside of you you know this is because you're you're not competing with yourself you can there's an indication here that there's others that are competing with you because you have the seven of the seven of wands the nine of wands this five of wands it's it's just a lot of unnecessary. Oh my God. <laughs> so what did I just say? Uh, temperance didn't come out. I'm glad temperance didn't come out. Well, temperance came out. Balance. 
um, this is the archangel saying, stay in balance. So maybe there is a little bit, uh, a little bit more attention that's being given because this is a lot of fire. This is a lot of fire. So you might need to balance the fire with the, with the air, the thoughts, the, you know, asking yourself questions like, does this make sense? <laughs> is it logical? See, you're, if you're out of balance and you have, um, you're too much of one way, you'll miss some things. Yeah, yeah, see, all of the elements are indicated there. You have, oh, let me look, okay, there's a sword, there's a cup, there's a pentacle, and there's the, um, the wands. On here, what do we have? We have swords, swords, fire, well, swords, swords, wands, 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 swords, cups. <laughs> Where's the earth energy? There's none. There's no earth energy here. And so you need to maybe back off the, the passion a little bit and um, get grounded. You know, ground yourself. Yeah. Because <laughs> your material harvest is coming in. You're, um, you're about to reap these material benefits. You know, this is an indication of coins, pentacles, earth energy, but you must stay balanced. How can, if you go too fast and you hadn't gotten your system set up, then what you gonna do when you, when all that stuff comes in, you know? So you, you, you want to stay balanced. So this weekend, it seems like you're going to have to take some time, think about your money, think about your family, Think about your work, put your plan in action. It's, uh, we're almost at the middle of the month. So yeah, pay your bills. Um, put things on paper, write out a, a, a surefire plan on paper that you will stick to. Um, make sure that your health is in order because you can't you know, keep going and going and going and going and not taking care of yourself or else you're gonna you're gonna burn out and you don't want to burn out when you're on a mission you're you know this queen of wands here she'll keep going and going and going yeah here's more earth energy the thinking man well i guess this is more in line with the king of swords so the um the thinking man is in your is coming in helping you you know helping you to put things in balance think about things logically to put things in order um let me see i want to know what this competition is so let's let's do some clarifying yeah yeah just a few more minutes okay let's see what this five of wands is and maybe the eight of swords. <laughs> There's two eights out here. I can't remember when we saw that, if we saw it in the last weekend steamer or if we saw it in the sweet tea. Oh yeah, check that video out. Maybe I'll um, I'll link it in here when, um, when I upload it so that you can go back and watch the, the sweet tea for the week. See how it lines up. Okay, justice. So this competition, this five of wands is here because justice had has to be served. <laughs> There's um, perhaps some things that are not being said or that has been said and they need uh, some sort of a resolution. So let's see what the eight of swords is. What are these um, potential fears that, that they are not looking forward to <laughs> what are the what's the eight of swords what is the eight of swords here oh look at that okay i didn't even see this on the bottom yeah 
Ooh, okay. So <laughs> over here on the bottom, um, we have the woman holding a coin. So just like I'm saying, make sure that you get your, your money in order. Then you have the woman holding a heart. These could be women in your life that um, can either help, that can help you financially and that can offer you love. And this thinking man is somebody that may, it could be you, you know, these people can be you, or it can be somebody in your environment that is giving you a hand, helping you out, you know. You have some endeavors. So why is the Eight of Swords here? You have some endeavors that you're, um, oh no, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not gonna do this. All right. <clears throat> this is funny. This is so, so funny. Okay. Let me read it first. Let me read this one first because we have two eights here. The eight of wands came out. This is fast communication and it's a third eight. Eights are very, very fast moving energy. It's a lot of energy right? It's like this eight of swords. It's like your mind is racing. It's going a hundred miles an hour. Eight of wands is like communication. Uh, a lot of it, a lot of communication that's flying through the air that's, you know, coming and you're probably nervous about that happening. You don't want somebody, you know, coming with their slick words. Yeah. Okay. So then you have the magician, wanting to manifest something um it's a major arcana and the hierophant that's another major arcana this these are strong indicators just like this king of swords authority knowing what what you're wanting where you want to go what you want to do what's right what's wrong um Okay, there's a couple of, yeah, look at that. All right, so the counterparts did come in. So this is some sort of a, some sort of a, a, okay, this is what it is. What I'm seeing is this is showing different aspects of the same people. And um, this little story is kind of giving a back ground, a back, uh, yeah, like the backstory, right? the backstory of what's happening here. So I said, you know, there's some, maybe there's somebody actually, I don't see the, I don't see the page of, I don't see the page of swords, but there's some sort of indication that there's been some kind of, you know, like underhanded stuff going on that has caused you to be on your guard you know you're like i'm good i'm straight y'all stay over there i don't know why y'all are you know coming at me i'm doing good i'm doing what i need to do chill go away stop fighting me right i'm i'm good and this competition is is like you're you're you need it you have to have it so that you can go to the next level but you've gone through it and that's why you're this wounded warrior now the backstory so there's somebody in your environment or somebody in your world, it could be you, but I don't think it's you, that is being very manipulative. This is the five of swords, um, looking out for their own best interests. You have um, healed, this is the star card. That's why you have the sun here. You've uh, gone through a lot and you've, you've come out on top and you look good and that's why you're you know getting all of this flat because you were not what you weren't who you are now and now that you are who you are there's a lot of people that have a lot of things to say about it but you have the emperor here this is authority you're standing on your you know you're sitting on your throne you make the decisions you call the shots so whatever was, these are kind of out of order, but I'm just going to take them as they, as they come. I hope it makes sense as they come out. 
So there were some secrets, some things, some things that had not been revealed. And, um, you know, so that's, that's kind of what gives me the indication that there's been something that's been going on that you didn't have the knowledge of. You probably still don't know what it is. And that's why you're kind of afraid that there's going to be some kind of stuff that's going to jump off and you just don't want it. And that's why you're going to walk away from it. And it's easy. It's going to be easy for you to do that. It's just, you know, the way that it is. Because, why is it easy? Okay. Because you, you're the empress. You see your value. You see your worth. And there's a peace, joy, happiness, love, prosperity in your life. This is like the, the mother, the, you know, the, the mother who loves everyone and has, um, more than enough to give. And so she's that way. So you're, you don't have time to deal with anything that's petty. That's why you're moving away from the drama. The Six of Swords, it came out again. It's just kind of the way that you are. It's the way that you operate. It's like, see you later, bye. I just don't even, I don't, I don't even know your language. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And um, that's kind of new for you. You, you're, you stand on the truth, the Ace of Swords. This is the Sword of Truth. It's a gift from the divine. You just don't have, you just don't have the patience, the time, your mindset isn't the way, you know, is not in this, this uh, five of wands, childish energy. You know, you're, you're more of, okay, I can suit up and we can really go to town. I'm, I don't do the playground fights. I, I'm just not that person. I have guns, <laughs> not seriously, but you know, it's just a different energy. Somebody that's coming to a, a, a gunfight with a knife, you know, it's whoever it is that is uh, in the background that is, you know, whatever the secrets are, they just don't know who they're dealing with when they're dealing with you. And I'm not advocating any violence. It's not that sort of thing. And I'm not getting that kind of thing from these cards. What I'm getting is you're just, you just don't play. Your, your mind is not in that, um, in that mode of talking about people, talking about anything other than what's going to help you to elevate. And so, yeah, you're, you're interested in collaborating with those who will help build something great for you. This is the three of pentacles. This is teamwork, collaboration, and that's just the way that you are. That's the way that you roll, you know, uh, let's see. All of that came out for this, uh, which one? <laughs> All of that came out for this eight of swords, I think. Yeah, it did. Where's that? Yeah, something's missing. No, for this five of five of wands, my bad. Yeah. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I felt like I wanted to do something else, but I'm already going long. So I will leave it there. Um, I feel like there's more. I feel like there's more. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the, oh, look. Okay, so the two, um, there it is, two of, two of cups. This is soulmate energy. So yeah, you probably, <laughs> you just, you're in a good situation. People don't like it. Haters gonna hate. And that's just the way that it is. But you, you're gonna, you're gonna walk away from, and I think that the people know, well, not everybody does, obviously, because you're, you're gonna walk away from anything that's not fulfilling you emotionally. And that's, that'll be a lesson for anybody who doesn't know. <laughs> so I will leave it there. Thank y'all for watching. We made another mess on the table. Uh, I hope it helped. Um, y'all tell me what's going on for the weekend. Yeah, leave it in the comments. I keep forgetting to ask y'all to tell me, but y'all know how I am. I'm a little bit nosy. So yeah, just indulge me. Tell me what's happening. I hope y'all are staying safe. Um, be safe, especially around the, the holidays. Um, 
watch your surroundings, you know, and I don't want a risk sounding cliche, but you know, the, the season is more about, you know, togetherness, love, being with one another and, you know, giving the gift of love as opposed to, you know, spending your money on things. So don't go in debt trying to please people. Don't do it. <laughs> but if y'all are out shopping this weekend, be safe, have fun, enjoy, um, enjoy yourself, love on yourself, love on others. All right. Namaste. Peace.